did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course. So that was it? <laughs> Whole conversation didn't mean nothing right there? Okay then. Can I grab this? Ooh, thank you. Take whatever I can. Potent bitters. Regular bitters. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. <laughs> We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. All right then, bud. It says my batteries are fine, but I do not believe it in the slightest. Hey. <gasps> Alright, so the closest we got is this one with his, I guess, former uh, girlfriend or something. Oh, how you doing, Pearson? You doing good? All right, cool. Okay, fella. So let's go check. <laughs> okay, I guess I broke that. Yeah. Let's go check that out. Actually, now that I think about it, I probably should put this at the butcher, Pearson, or somebody. Yeah. I'll just keep it on the horse, whatever. Look at me riding, riding really fast. Look at me riding, riding really fast. I definitely could be a lot faster. Actually, now that I think about it, if y'all got uh, any info on what's the fastest force in this game, I would like to know. Because if I could get that horse, it would make things so nice. I'd get through all this stuff real fast. I wouldn't have to figure out what I'm trying to say when we're in these points like this, you know. Try to fill the dead air, because I'm not all that smart, let's be real here. I don't know what I'm saying much, so... Oh, sorry, 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 buddy. It's okay. Hey, chill out, dog. What? What you want? Try any funny business, I'm gonna hurt like you. You, you want to make some easy money? Come with me. I can't talk to you. Are we riding somewhere? I have a feeling I know what's gonna happen. He's gonna try to rob me. Ain't nobody brings nobody down a dark alley just for this. My bastard of a friend double-crossed me again, and I ain't gonna stand for it this time. So listen, he's staying at the nearby hotel. You rob him, we split the money. What do you say? Fine. Sure. Why the hell not? Okay, he's at the saloon tying one on, so go ahead to 1B in the hotel and look for some easy money. I hope tying one on doesn't mean nothing weird. Cause if I go in there and I see something weird, you can bet I'm gonna come back and hit you in the face, okay? Just gotta make that very clear here. You're gonna get hurt if I go in there and see something real weird. So we're going to 1B, alright? I'm not sure if that's on first or second. I'm thinking B would be second. Ah, you're back. Well, who are you? Don't what happened to the original? Man. I'm just looking for a friend. Room 1B? End of the hall. I hear any trouble? Well, I better not. Good. 
Ain't nobody gonna do nothing to me or else I'll shoot them. They'll get hurt. You know what I'm saying? They'll get hurted. Alright. Well, there ain't nothing in here, so it's good to know. Let's see. Nothing in that. Oh, don't close it. You up. Oh, think you can rob me, do you? All right then. Come on, try it again. I'm weak, huh? But you're getting hurt. Yeah, that's right. Give me my hat back. Not that guy's hat. Give me my hat. Okay, then. That's weird. Whoa, I don't even want to think about what that is. Got to put a... Got to put an advisory on this video. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry! <coughs> Alright. We got anything on them? Basically nothing, so whatever. Let's get going, y'all. If you come back here causing more problems like this, I'll get the sheriff. Don't you hear worry me? About. You have a good night. Well, <laughs> please just leave now. Hey, I'm a, I'm, I'm a good guy. It's just things have to be done, done the way they need to be. You know, people gotta get hurt. Heard it got to get people. I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, that's a lot of money, though. Yeah, listen. I looked all over. The room was dry. Damn. That rat bastard must have spent it all already. Son of a bitch. Well, thanks for trying anyway. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. Well, thanks for uh, believing in that. <laughs> You shouldn't have, but all right. What's this question mark back here? One, two, man, two, man. Oh, come on. What is it, though? I want to know. Is it down here or is it in the second floor? Wait a second. Yeah, he's got a safe. What about it? Find a hidden operation. Rob the shop side business. Oh. Okay, then. <laughs> kind of don't care. Alright, come here, horse. Come here. Come here, buddy. Alright, let's go. Need to not get sidetracked sometimes. I'm, I gotta think about that. Even though I do it all the time. Oh, jeez. All the time. Because I'm dumb. Alright, then. Hope nothing bad's gonna happen here. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a caller for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... 
Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Oh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm, uh, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> well, I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Ah, uh, whatever. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe like me. Hundreds of dollars. That's what I would like. If you owe me something, give me hundreds. Hundreds. Something like that. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm crazy. Alright. Since we're already pursuing it. Come on. There you go. Since we're already pursuing it. May as well, right? Follow through. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to prepare for anything. Whoops. There we go. I'm going to make sure I'm prepared. So. Oh boy. Just in case these boys decide to give me some... I can't think of a word. <laughs> Give me some trouble. There we go. Then uh, I think it'll be pretty easy to deal with. Them. Maybe. Probably not. But you know. I can only hope that I'm actually good at this game. But I don't think I am. At least not as good as I used to be with other games. Like the Division. I used to be good at that. But. This is a whole nother thing. A whole different thing. Uh oh. Hey, it's okay. Wolves out there, but it's okay, bud. You better not be chasing me, wolves. You are. Things aren't gonna end well. Maybe for either of us. Right. I'm just gonna cut through. Probably just shy of the location that I should be at, but whatever. What's in here, huh? Whoops, don't mean to craft and cook. <clears throat> Looks like whole a whole moonshine rig, huh? Yep. 
Don't ask how I would know that. Nah, it just kind of looked like it. Just the cartridges. We got nothing else, though. Let's see what else you got in here. Doesn't look like there's anything important inside, so... Pick up whatever this is. Some crackers. Well, now, bend over and take whatever you need. Whatever. Uh... Looks like a camper was out here. Ooh, some random stuff. Ah. Ah, my ear got itchy. Weird statement to make, but you know. Yeah, I'm a little ways away. I got off too early, but it's only because it looked like civilization was over here. Why are you, you running into trees again? Yeah. Crazy. All right. Let's see what type of hideout these boys got. I'm guessing it's on the mountain. The best guess that I got what it kind of looks like. I saw a question mark show up on the screen. I don't know what that was about, but okay. Nothing here? Alright. Whoa! Okay, I went past. Figured there would be a guard out here or something. Guess they're not that smart. Let's hope I can go up in here, you know, nice and civilized and talk rather than have to kill everybody, but. Easy, easy. Well, we're just going to walk up in here then. Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Can I speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. The path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? <sighs> I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you Turtles. <laughs> Guess purpose. I don't know. I don't know Same thing man. everybody does. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Sure. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Well, this is going from bad to worse. Hey, we gotta do this the hard way. You bump up out of nowhere. 
Well, here we go. Sorry. Sorry. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Come on. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. This is none of your damn business. As far as I'm concerned, by now it is. I move faster this without holding something. Let's talk about this. I was doing just fine by myself. Yeah. Barely. Uh, hold on. Horse. There we go. Come on, there we go. Stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. I'm a little crazy. Yeah. I won't deny it. We're gonna ride all the way across the plains here. I can't catch up to him for some reason. Sorry, mister. What are you gonna do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends! Can't hold the horse down now. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it! What are you talking about? You ain't no killer! You don't Come know on. I just gotta follow him until he breaks. I don't want to shoot him. I just want to get him off. Oh no! Please, Arthur. I'm a man now. I, I found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. I don't want to shoot him. There we go. Now calm down. Let's go see your sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know, there ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yep. Well, <laughs> well this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but... Your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father. Nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, uh, um. Uh, don't think too hard. Here we are. Must be waiting inside. 
Gotta clean off my horse now. All cause of you, boy. All cause of you. Hitch up my horse, man. Come on now. Get off my horse. Come on. Probably should take uh take this off before people start getting suspicious about me. <laughs> nice humbling experience for Mr. Arthur. Alright then. Well, let's hop over this then. Start the cutscene early. How about that? Father's been very sad. Your father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. <laughs> 